Hi, I am Chloe Miller, and I am co-owner of Benny and Velvet. I started out during 2020 with a small little upcycling, thrifting business. It was so much fun. I would go to thrift stores, I would find a bunch of stuff, I would resell it, I would flip it and resell it. I sold a lot through Instagram, but I did one pop-up shop just in my backyard with a bunch of clothing racks. It was really fun. That's like where I really realized I wanted to have a small business, especially like specifically a store. Me and my sister always wanted to have a business together. That was like our end goal. And we both really felt passionate about thrifting. And specifically, we really felt passionate about wanting to get more money out of our clothes when we would sell them than we would if we went somewhere like Plato's Closet. So when we were sitting down and thinking about what we wanted to do, we kind of just based it off of that. How can we get people to make more money? So what Vinny and Velvet is, is people rent booths from us for one week, they come in and set up their booth. We give them tags, stickers, hangers, whatever they need to set it up. They set all of their own prices and then they leave. And then they come back a week later to collect everything that wasn't sold. And we give them two thirds of everything that they sold. We found this baby blue gorgeous building in downtown Franklin. And we knew we wanted to be in Franklin just because of like, that's where we grew up. We wanted to feel connected to like our hometown. So we went in, we toured it. It was a mess. I mean, it was, it was just not very cute. I mean, it had no flooring. It had hardly any ceiling. It was just the worst shade of gray that you have ever seen. It had two fireplaces that were like just so dismantled. And so we put so much work into this building and now it is absolutely gorgeous. We have a faux brick wall that is like hot pink. We've got like a pink fireplace, we've got disco ball wallpaper. I mean, if, if it's pink, we've got it in there. So it is just everything we wanted it to be and more now. I remember thinking, no one is gonna shop here. No one is gonna like this store. It's not gonna be interesting to anybody but me. And that was so not the case. And I, I knew we would get shoppers, but I did not expect to have regulars that come back every single week. When we first opened, I basically turned my old thrift account into our Vinny and Velvet account. So we had like a 600 follower cushion and I just built it off of that. We do post like a lot of our clothes that we actually have in the store currently, like some of the best stuff on our social media. And people will come in specifically for those items. Like if it's something that they're looking for, they will come in. Most of what we do is thrift stuff, consignments but our front room, when you first walk in, is all small businesses, and it's all small women-owned businesses also, which is really special to us. I feel very passionate about supporting other women and building each other up. That has just always been something that is so huge for me. Being a small business yourself, know how hard it can be to get your name out there sometimes, especially in a small town like Franklin. A lot of our customers end up following them on social media and sharing their stuff and like word of mouth really does spread so fast. The community, like without them starting up, it would have been not nearly as successful as it was. The like city manager of Franklin was probably the first person in the door on our opening day. They really have just been so helpful, so kind. Within the first three months of us being open, we won business of the year, which was crazy. We didn't even realize that we had been in the running in the first place. And they really just have been so supportive of us in every single thing that we do. Anything that we have needed, they have been more than willing to help us out. We definitely are interested in expanding, but when I graduate college, I'm sure it's gonna be like full bore ahead. I think Cincinnati would be really fun, like especially college kids, I think would be so much fun because they're always like looking to make extra cash and they're always, they have like all these random clothes that they bring to school and then they think like, I'm never actually gonna wear these. So I think that would be really fun, but I also love like 
the vibe of Lebanon or like Miamisburg, how all of the stores are small businesses. And I think Franklin will eventually be like that, but I think it would be interesting to go into a place that's kind of already established that like small business hometown kind of feeling. Starting this business with my sister has been like the most amazing thing. And I know a lot of people, like when we started, I was talking to my friends and they were like, you guys are gonna butt heads so much. But really, like we have gotten so much closer <laughs> since we opened this business. Like we truly are best friends. And it's, we were before, but this business has like really brought that to light. And the same thing goes like my mom working with us as much as she does. like. The three of us, that is like our group. Like those are my best friends. Working with your family can be so rewarding. It's so fun. And then you get to see your whole family succeed. It's like, oh. I feel like the, the idea of what I had Vinny and Velvet being, like what I thought it was gonna be when we first started in my head, we've definitely reached it and we've exceeded it. I wanna continue growing forever. And I just want Vinny and Velvet to get better and better and better and I just, I'm so excited to see where it goes. I never like to put limits on us. I think we, we have so much more capability that we've just yet to explore.